Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Um, it's been a while since I've picked up my vlogging camera, or any camera to be exact, but I just finished filming up my Meghan Markle inspired 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 reel for instagram so you would have already seen that by now if you don't follow me on instagram be sure to check it out um but i just figured i'd pick up the vlog and maybe do a weekend sort of in my life i haven't got dressed or like done my makeup for anything other than reels lately so um anyway i'm just getting ready to go to work and Obviously, I haven't posted in a while like I mentioned before, but that's kind of because my life has changed quite a bit. I started coaching gymnastics again, or full-time, I guess. Um, if you guys don't know, I used to be a Division I athlete, specifically gymnastics, obviously. Um, but anyway, so I had to sort of help out my parents and take over the girls' program sort of in a pinch, like just at the beginning of the year, and I have been enjoying it more than I thought I would. I know that's kind of like weird because I feel like a lot of, it's either two things, either ex-athletes love going into coaching or they're like so done with their sport that they just like want nothing to do with it. And I thought I was kind of like so done with it that I didn't want anything to do with it or that I wouldn't be a good coach. Um, but I've, I've been enjoying it, oddly enough, so we'll see how long I keep it up. Um, it really, like, like I said, it really was because I had to step in in a pinch, but who knows, maybe it will be a blessing in disguise. So anyway, I'm obviously not going to go to work with all this makeup on because I have to wear a mask all the time and my face has been kind of freaking out. I, like, really don't know if you can tell and, like, wow, TMI. But I've just been getting breakouts like all over my like chin and my neck and I know it's because I'm wearing the mask and we wear um, masks that go underneath our chin for like really good protection and it's just been really sort of bugging my skin out. So I'm going to try to figure out what I can do to make it go away if I have to like change my face wash or maybe find like stronger topical things for um, my breakouts because I have done a skincare routine and my skincare routine hasn't changed since that last video so I'm going to link it up there for you to check it out if you're interested um, but my skin normally is okay and it's just been really really bad so if you see my face without makeup which I'm sure you will throughout this vlog apologize but that's just like what real life is like so um yeah so along with coaching i have been working as a digital content creator and like not in the like social media way but more in the sort of business marketing way where i've been sort of creating different commercials like tv ads radio ads um, i'm working on a brochure for um advertising to hand out sort of like not door to door but more at like for facilities so i've been working on things like that sort of like kind of gathering up all my equipment and just sort of diving deep into that because i really enjoy that you know so anyway i hope this is like not boring so far but yeah there's been a lot of things and if you have seen any of my previous vlogs before or any of my instagram pictures i ended up painting my entire bedroom it used to be a um like lilac purple color and now we've kind of taken it to this i think this is called uh, is it alabaster yeah it's alabaster which i know is like a pretty uh, famous white or like popular white and i wouldn't say it's my favorite white honestly it looks yellow guys so i don't know i feel like studio mcgee is like really turn me on to all the different kinds of white, but I feel like none of them are actually white. They all have like, they're either blue, pink, or yellow. They're, none of them are like white. So it definitely looks a lot better in here. Like I said, it was purple and then it was like a dark purple. It was like all kinds of shades of purple. Um, but this room is definitely more formal and traditional and has a lot more like antique pieces. So I couldn't go like stark white cause it would just feel really cold. And I do need to pick up a antique dresser that I had my eye on um, that's going to go there because the main thing, oh, I may, might want to mention that I do live at home currently. Um, hopefully it's not for too much longer, but this is kind of my childhood bedroom. So a lot of the furniture like this is small it's like meant for your small kids with small clothes so i tend to have more stuff now and we gotta pick up a new dresser and then do some zhuzhing 
with the carpeting situation underneath my bed. So we did like a full rearrange painting of the entire room. So I do feel a little bit more inspired to film and take pictures. And I don't know why, like, yeah, like the, just the color was hindering my ability to be creative. So yeah, that's kind of like the rundown of all the things that have sort of transpired over the last couple of weeks. Nothing has really happened because nothing's really happening in the world. Um, or anything new happening in the world, I should say. So I did want to quickly mention that I have picked up some really great um, Amazon finds or just like random finds in general. So first things first is I mentioned in one of my best and worst purchases or what I got for Christmas or something that I got a new Apple Watch. And my sister ended up buying me this gold like link band. And it is amazing. I love it. It's actually meant for a smaller Apple Watch, but if you don't know, you can use smaller and larger, like the 40 and 44 millimeter bands on any of the Apple Watches. They will fit. So technically it's a bit small, but I love it because it kind of gives that illusion that it's a real watch, um, which is what I love. It doesn't look like a tech watch. So that has definitely been such a great little purchase that I've been absolutely loving. And I wash my hands all the time. It doesn't look like it's getting kind of tarnished or anything. It is stainless steel. So, oh my gosh, Siri is listening to me. Um, but yeah, it's been working super, super well. Totally love it. And then I quickly want to talk about um, my pants. So let me turn you around. Can you see? Okay. So I hope the lighting is okay. But these are the Amazon Lulu legging dupes. So, okay, that, that might be better. So these leggings are supposedly Amazon, I'm sorry, Lululemon dupes, and they are the softest, most buttery leggings I have ever bought. So I, this is the charcoal gray pair, and I also have the black pair, and I want to get it in like a million other colors because they're only $28. And even though I know that like Lulu's are notorious for not pilling or anything, and I can't speak for these ones yet because I haven't had them long enough. Um, they do feel really, really soft. The waistband is super supportive and doesn't like roll down or anything. The seaming seems pretty high quality and they're the perfect length. Like that to me is like the perfect length for me because I am about five, four, but I do have pretty short legs, my shortness, my, my uh, leg to torso ratio is definitely disproportionate. But anyway, yeah, they are just the most perfect and I will link them down below because they, like I said, they're 28 bucks. And I know that the Lulu dupe thing has been floating around um, TikTok and reels and everything like that. So it's nothing new, but I do absolutely love them. And I think they're super flattering and just wanted to put you guys onto them. So that's another great thing. And then last but not least is my computer bag. So I got this computer bag for Christmas and it is from Base, which is Shea Mitchell's uh, travel luggage um, brand and she does this work tote and I asked for it for Christmas and it has been working for me super well. So it does have a computer department for, uh, I have a 15 inch laptop so it's great for that. I picked up this bag. So it is a pretty large and I have gotten a few comments when I've walked into work and they're like, is that your purse? Cause it's like super, super big. But like I said, it has that big computer compartment that has like all the padding so your computer will be safe and then it also comes with this detachable pouch so it has like buttons and it snaps in and I've just been able to add all kinds of different stuff like I have like a whole I have like a hard drive in here I put all kinds of stuff in there my extra chargers um, and things like that and then the rest of the bag is pretty like open um, but like I said I love it because it stays super structured and it doesn't kind of like collapse. That's the one thing I dislike about my um, long champ bag, which it is my favorite bag hands down, but because it has no shape, everything in there is kind of like looking through Mary Poppins like purse of like all that junk, right? Like you can never find anything. So uh, this has been great for that. I have like a notebook, 
an extra phone case, um, an umbrella, hand sanitizer, and all that stuff. And it just comes with a bunch of different compartments. So this is, turns into a pocket, but it also can go on top of your suitcase, this great strap. So I wanted to find a work tote that was really cute um, and of decent quality, but also had a lot of compartments and was functional. So I kind of hit the mark with that, with this base bag. Um, they do have it in black and I know it comes in like a croc pattern, but I think I just got it in like the nude leather. I think that's what they call it. I can look it up and I'll link it down below as well. But if you're in the hunt for a work tote, I would totally recommend this one. Um, and yeah, so I have been going on and on and on and on and on. So I'm just going to shut up now and go take this makeup off so I can get ready for work. All right, so I just got to work. I'm about like an hour, 45 minutes, or 45 minutes to an hour early. Sorry if it's like super echo in here, but um, we do have a little gym workout room upstairs. So I figured I would try to get a quick workout in because I have been really slacking in the workout department. I haven't been committed to any sort of like workout plan since the summertime. Um, I know I was really into Sarah's day. If you guys don't follow her, she's like huge fitness YouTuber. Um, and she has this ebook that I followed for a while and I really, really liked it. But um, yeah, I just haven't been into that. I haven't been into like any kind of workout in particular. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do today, but I know that I want to do some body weight stuff and just kind of like move and maybe break a sweat. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, definitely after college and after athletics, figuring out like your motivation to working out is definitely like the hardest thing. Cause I don't really think I struggle too, too much with body image anymore. I definitely did in my younger years. Um, and even up until like the last, like maybe six months, um, I've just kind of started to care less about how I look. This is what I look like. This is all that I, <laughs> that I got. So, um, I do eat pretty well, but I also splurge and I don't get that much of exercise in, but I don't like sit around and do nothing. So anyway, again, we've been rambling a lot today. Um, I feel like I haven't like talked to my camera in such a long time that I feel like I have like so much things to say. Um, and I like look at my camera as if it's like my friend and it's my therapist, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to do some body weight stuff, maybe get on the stairs ever. Probably do some cable machines and just do a few like toning type exercises. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put a time lapse on for this. I feel like there's so much more to talk about with post athletics and body image and just body image in the sport of gymnastics in its entirety and you know, just with being a female and you know, having all of the beauty standards sort of pushed on you um, for basically your entire life. I think there's so much to go into it, so much to go into, but it just kind of is hard because you don't want to offend anybody or make it sound like you don't struggle with anything or that, you know, whatever, that this body type is the best. You know what? You just, you just can't say certain things on the internet because it's scary because everybody's really mean. Um, but thankfully I am in a good place and I think that's where I guess I'll leave it and I'll shut up now. So for the second time today. <laughs>
didn't really have a plan. I didn't really go as planned, I guess. Um, but yeah, at least I feel a little bit better. So um, really wasn't for like burning calories or anything like that. It was really just to get my body moving and I at least accomplished that. So um, practice starts in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to get some water rest up a little bit, maybe find a snack, and get ready for practice. Not sure if I'm gonna film practice because they're like little kids and I don't wanna film them, so. Um, but yeah, so we'll just go through practice, but, and then we'll go home. Good morning, everyone. So today is Sunday and we're kind of getting a slow-ish start to the morning. Uh, I just got dressed, kind of did something with my hair, had breakfast, all that fun stuff, but I spent most of the day yesterday um, well, I spent all of it at work, and then I spent about three hours at the Firestone Fire Shop because I ended up getting a flat tire, um, so I don't do all of that. So that's what happened yesterday. But we are going downstairs because um, my mom is working on a floral arrangement. I guess I should close this, but I wanted to show it to you guys or to see how the progress has come along. So it's downstairs in our basement where we have a little home gym where we kind of do, where we mostly Sam does workouts. Um, but then we have a little area where we can do fun crafty things. So we're working on the floral arrangement right now. Okay. It looks really good so far. So this is for one of my good friend's wedding. So we're trying to start out with like a sort of draft of what we want it to look like and then we'll fill it in, mostly Loretta. Um, but yeah, we have all these supplies. But anyway, it's starting to look out really beautiful. She has, like roses is her sort of flower of choice and we found like a beautiful floral arrangement to kind of get inspiration from. So we have some like dark, uh, like wine colors, pinks, this like deep purple color and some like white roses too. So it's going to turn out really, really cute. Okay, so this is the progress so far. We brought it up here so we could see it in better lighting, but I'm trying to get a full like panoramic view so we can decide what needs to be added. I just think that's better because it looks like more balance on both sides. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it looks really pretty. I like the little gold yeah. thing. It's cute. Hi girls. I'm gonna come give you some food. Hmm? Okay. Come on girls, I know. Oh my god, is your chest all cool? Girlies, are you guys fighting? Come on, have some more grubbies. Keep you out of the cage while I clean it. Look at their, all their butts. I know, I gotta put medicine. Maybe we can do that while I'm half over. Let's just spray it. It ain't gonna go nowhere. It's, you, it's at an angle. Yeah, but you can... You can't really suck it a bit too because it was... ugly right now because it's winter time but we have all these really cool things that we're getting ready to plant so it's not it's not really planting season yet right like just about yeah so we have to do a lot of like clearing out of all the older like sort of more more dead plants essentially <laughs> um, and uh, start getting ready for springtime but we got a lot of stuff throughout winter time and we these little trays where all of her starter plants will be will be put 
up there and they're on like a pulley system so she can get them you know, up and down. Uh, and that way you're utilizing all of the all of the height in the greenhouse. So that way we're not just using just what's on the floor. But we have some pineapple trees or bushes, plant trees. So you can see right here, we have one of our first pineapples that is starting to sprout. So that's really exciting. We have, I think about five pineapple plants. So hopefully we get some good, wait, no, there's more. We have like about maybe eight or nine. Yeah, maybe eight or nine pineapple plants. So they grow all of their little pineapples right there. We have one, so that's exciting. Um, she has all kinds of fun stuff where we've taken old gallon bottles and added strawberry plants into them, which is really fun. I believe this, is this a lemon tree or what tree is this? This is a lemon tree. And then our fig tree, which looks kind of, oh, that's a spider web I'm about to walk through. Um, but that's a fig tree over there. We had tons of figs for the first time ever this year, but we had to cut them back a little bit because they got a little overgrown. So hopefully we get some figs again this year. We have some lettuce, which is doing great. And there's a few strawberries. I took a picture the other day, but these are our hot pepper plants and they did really, really well over the summer. There was tons and it's still even growing some now. These are some blueberry bushes. And uh, what did you say, Mom? Oh, yeah, 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 I gotta go out there still. But I wanna find like a strawberry, if there's some strawberries out. Yeah, I wanna find something. I think there's, oh yeah, you can see one right here. He's coming to life. I've already eaten a few, so the ones that were ripe, I ate. <laughs> but we even have outdoor planters. If we go outside. So last summer, we had all of this, and it kind of goes all the way to the other side. But we didn't have these really cool plexiglass covers over them, and it was just a bunch of plants and vegetables that were kind of growing. And it got a little overgrown, but it, it did really well. Um, the unfortunate thing is, or fortunate thing, however you want to look at it, was that we have a lot of deer, bambies, that sleep back here at night. And so they kind of just use this as their personal grocery store, which is fine. But um, we use this to protect them in the winter time, the sort of plexiglass to give the same greenhouse effect out here. And then we'll like lift them up for the summertime and when things get a little bit bigger. But it looks kind of ugly right now, so my mom probably will be mad that I'm showing it to you. But um, once we get everything planted in the summertime, it's gonna be really, really beautiful. So we've been able to make hot peppers, tomatoes, like spaghetti sauce. What else we've done? Like we have sweet potatoes, butternut squash, zucchini, sweet peas, lettuce. Uh, we have an avocado plant right here that my mom started from just an avocado. And I really have been trying to convince my mom to start her own YouTube channel so that way she can do all this fun gardening and like DIYs. Sorry if you can hear the fan. The fan goes on when it gets a certain temperature in here to keep everything cool. Um, but she started that from just like a regular grocery store avocado. So hopefully it'll grow some avocados this year because we love avocados. Uh, so that's kind of a quick tour of the greenhouse. I, I feel like I've never showed it, um, but hopefully we'll be doing more gardening in the springtime and I'll be able to make more videos with it. But yeah, so we're just out here making sure that everything gets watered, make, um, especially the strawberries and the things on the side because a lot of the bigger trust, huh? Yeah, because everything over here is pretty much all automatically watered, but the things on the side don't really get that much water. So I've been kind of going on for about six minutes now. But yeah, so this is the greenhouse. Found one of the ripe strawberries, and it's February, and we have strawberries still, so that's super exciting. Mmm. It's literally so good. <laughs> so while we were out doing the chickens, we had some garlic roasting in the Instapot. So we're gonna do homemade hummus. So garlic roasted hummus, so we have a recipe pulled up. Hummus is super easy to make. So let's do, we have two cans of strained and washed chickpeas, two tablespoons of tahini. You can get tahini at the grocery store. If you don't know what it is, it's basically sesame peanut butter. Good olive oil. Yeah, high quality olive oil. We take our olive oil very seriously around this house.
learned this from Giada, is to roll your citrus before you cut it. Okay. So this is sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Now we're gonna add in all the garlic, which we should have done earlier, but we didn't. So we just transferred it into a little glass container and added some paprika on the top. So we're gonna we're gonna paste it. So we're gonna dip. I didn't bubble dip. I think it tastes really good. So easy recipe. Okay guys, so it's definitely been a couple of hours since I last picked up my vlogging camera. We had to go down and trim some bushes. <laughs> uh but I did, I totally forgot to get my camera and we were just so busy doing it that I didn't even think to pick up my phone, but we're out here with the dogs and we're gonna go for a nice Sunday stroll down by the farm. Denver's in trouble because she keeps trying to go in the horse's pastures when she's not supposed to. We just spent Sunday doing some chilled errands, housework, farm work. Red. What do you, why did you look at me funny? What? Why did you look at me funny? I didn't. Oh, yeah. So we're just gonna spend the rest of the evening walking around, hanging out, Woo. getting ready for tomorrow. So, tomorrow. Monday. Okay, get ready for that? I do, I have work, I have things to do. Oh, oh look here, let me show you. That's not a dog, that's an alien. Sorry. This Doberman? Is that what you called it? Huh? Hello, boy. Hello. Uh, don't you bite my finger. It's your horse? Yeah, I'm not just gonna like the dogs. Doggies. She's worried about. Huh? She's worried about Dumbo. Yeah. She's beautiful. Aren't you most beautiful? So don't go up in those ears, ma'am. He's stupid. Don't even worry about him. Underdeveloped dog. Come here, Ridge. Sit down. Sit down. So you like redheads? She's a chestnut. She's not a redhead. She's a redhead. She's so I didn't beautiful. Know that. Do I need to dye my hair red? Oh, did I tell you we saw the armadillo earlier? At the house? No, at the 18 acres on the lot. Oh? Yeah. I wish I could have seen that. <laughs> so you like redheads? I like red horses. <laughs> my hair? I mean, maybe. But this is kind of the life. This is like the perfect way of ending. 